Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more fun house. Whatever's going on here. As I said probably last time, I don't remember, uh, I believe there should be more to this DLC. It would be my guess than just like, oh, we did the three, now we're done. Oh. But there's only one way to find out. It's to beat them up. My ass, Modius. Oh yes, yes. Okay, good. I did not actually want to go over there, but I wanted to see what that was because I was curious! And fair, got you already, my dare, dare, dare. should be in here, right? Yes. Dun dun. The last of the chaos machines. This one's glittery. Double hits. Ugh. I was specifically attempting to uh, save my stuff. But we are very pretty and sparkly. Okay, I'm now wind. my fuel, bitch! No fuel for you to guzzle, bitch. Wasn't expecting a sparkly glitter type, uh, you know, alien though. I will admit that part. All right, I should be able to absolutely demolish it in one hit here. But just in case, we'll use some fire. Oh right, it explodes. Easy. Machine curse. Huh? I was expecting Gwen to come out and congratulate us or something. Probably because something's not right. <coughs> Which was my suspicion already.
bonked her on the head! Camp here, get that full party heal. Uh, thank you for discussing your ass. Operations with me. Oh, perfect. A rainy night. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. I cannot jump over that. <sighs> Hello, Crow. I see you disabled the last infernal engine. You have my deepest, most earnest thanks. Has something upset you? The way you and Kaylee worked together it just brought back some old memories of mine. I had close friends once. We used to travel together and see so many sights. Building those engines wasn't just about the pier. I think I wanted to build new friends to replace the ones I once had. Uh, build new friends? I... I know that sounds silly. To conjure illusions and make them real, to will something new into the universe, that's just not something we are able to do. I got pretty close though, right? My infernal engines, once broadside piers open to the public, a lot of plenty of more humans to use for my project. Morgant always said that our lot can't really make things, that's for you humans, but if you start with the human and go from there, you can get pretty far. What? Um... Why are you making that face? Was it something I said? The infernal engines were made from humans? Uh... Yes, that's the secret sauce. Start with a human and unfold them to make them like us. You're not the first humans to sail here, my little rowboat, but you're certainly my favorite. So you are an archangel. Mm. I told you, I don't know what that word means. Then what are I am you? Gwenivar. The incarnation of illusion and once an egregore of the court of Aleph. Gwen for short. Aleph is dead and we killed him. <laughs> dead? <laughs> that makes sense. Aleph wasn't very good at making friends, but was very talented at making enemies. Not that e egregores like us die, as you understand it, of course. My old friends are now all gone one way or the other. To live a thousand lifetimes in the company of others only to find yourself alone? Couldn't even begin to imagine such a thing. Oh, we can't let her do this. You need to stop your project. Everything I do is for humanity. Everything I have always done is for your enrichment. I have traveled the connected cosmos, bringing joy to mankind for aeons. This is why I wear a human skin. I have many more gifts to give. If you think you can stop me, then be my guest. Ooh. I knew it. I knew there was going to be another boss fight. I was expecting another stage, though, to get to her, so... It. Them. Roll up! Roll up! The show is about to start! Ding. Ring Mistress! Evolution. This is the final act of the night, a real showstopper! I 
on fire now. Oh, thank god it missed me. That could have actually been bad. Poison and fire, eh? I actually expected them to die. Oh, there we go. I was born from mankind's love of creation. Why won't you let me return that love? Why do you wish for me to be so lonely? Yeah. You've hit the second act. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Why can't we fusion? Get Desi Bell all the way up. Top Oh my god, they flipped turned upside down! And we got confused. They did be random to get be random. Fusion, but I don't wanna. Switching back to Rampazzle. And we're gonna solve the glitter issue. Wait, did I get a glitter cure? I don't think I did. Oh no, coding cure. Sleep. Well, you're not gonna heal that much, thankfully. We should deal some muchos damagios. You're not gonna hit me with any. God, you heal a lot. Thank God. Well, at least you stopped that. That's about all I can be thankful for. My glitter. Fire. Well, I got a burn heal. No. Fuse! 
Action! Power! Boosh! Well, the problem of it being glittery, though, is that she's gonna resist it, but... Clown for help, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Because now I can do muchos damagios. Or you see, we have the multi-hit status. <laughs> ma ha ha! Oh, and now we do more damage. Oh no, you've extended your non-existent timers. Whatever will I do? Galactic Pickle! <laughs> Boosh! Bosh! <gasps> I yield! <sighs> I don't have any more fight left in me. I shall cease my efforts to create an egregore being from a human. I will intervene with your kind no further. You have my word. It's for the best. Return only as this. Say you'll come visit me on Bright's IPF from time to time. The both of you. Of course. <laughs> ah, thank you, old girl. What are you going to do? Mm. What will I do? I think I need some time to decide on that. Time is something I have a lot of, unlike your kind. Solitude doesn't suit me anymore. I still have the pier, of course. I love this place more than anything. It was one last gift from Aleph, plucked from a long dead well. When Aleph's court disbanded, I decided to isolate myself here, just close enough to your island that I could watch you all. I wanted to be closer to people, real mortal people. I... I really do love you humans across every world. You're always the same, greeting stories, music, and art to scare and delight each other. Do you want to know the one thing that humans always create, no matter the time, place, or civilization? Monsters, no matter what. Mankind always invents monsters. Until huh. next. next time. Take care, Crow. Huh. That's really um, it. Hello. Hello. Hmm. You know all about me. I am Gwenavagwen for short. Once I roamed the connected cosmos with my friends, and now I live on in old pier. What more is there to say? Hello. <laughs> Archangels, it's such a darling word for us. We aren't born knowing our nature, of course, like you. We have to be taught. The one who lies beneath and brought us to this place, as they bring so many others. They explain to us that we are egregores. We are seated across the connected cosmos by the vast psychic inertia of infinite realities filled with humans and other sentient life. It's simple, really. Hello. About Aleph. Aleph. Aleph has been slain by your hand, and I cannot help but mourn him. The one who lies beneath brought us all together, yet perhaps it is in our very nature that the harmony between us could not last. We are like your kind in many ways, and one of those ways is that nature is defined by our creation. I cannot change my fascination for humans. Aleph cannot change his fat love for bare bloodshed. <sighs> For him to say his own kin that fateful day, I should hate him for it. I know the old witch did, but I cannot. Conflict and domination were in his nature. Another incarnation of conquest could manifest again on some ill-fated world, but it won't be Aleph as we once knew him. Maybe that's for the best. Okay. Hmm. So, Gwen was an archangel after all, and she also knew Aleph. So strange to me that these beings who seem so beyond us could be so preoccupied with us human beings. <laughs> it's just a lot of this. It's just a lot for this small town, Irish lass. Nice. We already did alchemy, so we're gonna do machinery. Vendemon. <laughs> All right, so we want to try to get into that last place. So we got to figure out how to get these last tickets. I feel like we have to go grab, oh, the box, the box. Really? 
There is a monster in there. But to how do we activate it? There's most likely a secret box in each of these areas that's harder to solve than the others. Oh, not this again. Come on, we're smart enough to do this, y'all. I don't want to look it up if I can help it. I know for a fact that there's one that we're missing in uh, Major Tom, or not Major Tom, in the fun house.
Of course, that opens up something over here, which you then hit the button to activate that right there. I think we got everything here. I don't think one of the three missing pieces is over here. I can't figure it out, maybe I will look it up and we'll do another one after this. I haven't even checked to see if I've got like the next game ready or a next game ready, just period. There's not by no chance anything actually extra here now. Price ticket didn't explode. Oh, hold on, wait. Was that a back door? No. Hmm. <gasps> a button. We have found a missing piece. But to how do I get up there? Is the real question. This gives us two items. Granted, we still have to figure out how to get up there. How does one get up there? Okay. 
Okay, we're solving this somehow. Somewhat. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot, I have a fucking... Ability. Okay. Hello. All right, there's two more we got to find. I know for a fact there's one in the other one. So this is the one I don't know if there is an extra one in here or not. Got that one. That Charla Quinn was just being a little annoying. <laughs> oh, I should have, uh. Whatever, we'll do that in a minute. taken care of. This of course is taken care of.
There we go. These damn Han tones. Fuck! Why am I fucking this up so bad? One direction, nothing. Other direction, nothing. Literally nothing in there. All useless. Other than to get the key. I think there's anything in here. This shit's all taken care of. Nothing happens if you fall down to any of those things, so it's it, they've both got to be in the other map. The one I dislike, or the one I like the least. Come on, it's got to be a secret boss. Y'all know it's a secret boss. That's what I thought being stalker's done. And now we're gonna go to our storage. Back here again. Ugh. I mean, the fact that there were so many extras afterwards was another thing where I was just like, man, this gives me like credence towards there being another like mystery puzzle or something. No, instead it was uh, even worse. Harlequin first is priority because of the fact that it will change its typing every turn. Oh, I don't want to deal with that.
Well... <sighs> Come on, we got this. We can figure this out. We're smart people. Probably, sometimes. can't find it, that means it's still out there. Mob Mysteries! Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Nice. Oh, it was left with one HP. Damn, dude. Bum, bum, bum. An elemental wall. Rare. Man, sheep's almost ready for a pop, pop, pop. I haven't figured out how to activate. But, perfect. Oh, I was right fucking. Are you kidding me? I was that blind.
gotta be in this room because I 1000% like didn't fully explore the place. What's with this? There's literally nothing here. What the bull crap is it? it again. this out for a smart cookie Achievement for getting every uh, bestiary entry to level five. That said, so that's for every monster level five. All right, so that's everything in there. So it is one more hidden thing right here, somewhere in here. This is the last hidden piece. I go do a quick Google search for it since we're we, we literally got down to one so let's see um, set beasts uh, all right P 
Kiss at the unknown ticket guy. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. What? According to this, I got them all. Return to the earth, man, sheep. Got a zombie. What? Bullshit. It's four there. Four there. Missing one. One, one, one. One. That's four. Five. I mean, I can go grab that again in case I didn't actually get it. Other than that, I'm pretty sure we've seen every single one. This is the only one we haven't visually confirmed as being done. I swear, if it's this one and I'm just an idiot, then fuck, dude. Yeah, it's done. And that one. Bro, which, what? Understand. All right, because we're going back into uh, cosmic world, no fun world. Okay, lower left. Yeah, okay, I'm annoyed. Is an understatement. Fuck. the lower left. Upper left should be this one. Yep, yep. That's taken care of.
No, I definitely have all of these. But I'm clearly missing one. Ah, uh, this is just pissing me off. just sorely disappointed in myself. So I've confirmed we've gotten all eight of the ones from Brightside Pier. Without a doubt, those ones are all secured where they should be. Even though I can affirmatively say we have all of these, we have to check anyway. Making me mad because there's not a whole lot more for us to do in this game other than attempt to do a couple of the other like main quests. But, like, what's the main quest? Get everything level five? It's like, I don't know, dude. What does it want me to do? Oh, you son of a bitch. I hope that was recording the whole time, by the way. If it wasn't, I am very sorry, because when I just switched back in, I noticed that it was, uh, gone. Uh. Oh, no. Well, I'll find out in a second when I, uh... Uh, check my recording. Alright, um... Fuck, dude, I don't know. I'll have to think of something. Whatever. Uh, I'll figure out what we're gonna do next time, so. Anyway! Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay funky.